Hi, my name is Alan Williams. In this video, we'll be having a look at creating dynamic dimensions and measures with Tableau 10. Okay, so as mentioned, we're going to be having a look at dynamic dimensions and measures in Tableau 10. And the exact version I'm using is 10.3.1. The data that uh, we're using in this example comes from Microsoft's um, sample database called the VentureWorks database. Um, it's, a, it's a good sample database to use with Tableau and other business intelligence tools because it uses a dimensional model. And I just ran a query against that database to get some sales results and some other, uh, some other dimensions regarding employees, for example, and um, country, geography, products. And we'll use that data in this example. So let's get started by bringing some reseller information in. So I'm going to bring the business type into rows. I'm going to bring the sales amount into columns. So I have a different business types, but let's say I wanted to see the bank name. Or I wanted to be able to switch out between bank name and business type, and maybe another dimension as well. So we want to make this dynamic. So that's what we're going to do in this first example is make the measure dynamic. So the first thing I'm going to do is create a new parameter. I'm going to call this select a dimension. I'm going to make it a string data type. I'm going to make a list here. I'm going to type in the values that I want. Business type, bank name, and order frequency. Okay, and then I'm going to go down here and show the parameter control. So this time, nothing's going to happen. We have the selected dimension parameter, but when I change it, nothing changes in the visualization. In order to use that parameter I just created, I have to create a calculated field in order to use it. I'm going to call this selected dimension. I'm going to use a case statement. So case, select a dimension. This is the parameter that we just created. Say when so when the text is bank name, then use that dimension. And business type, then same thing. The next one, order frequency, then I'm going to use another calculated field that I created and I'll explain that in a minute. So called order frequency description. So order frequency is just a one character dimension. Order frequency description has the description that that references. I'll show that in a minute. Um, so there we go and then and so this should be okay. Click apply and okay. So now that I've got the selected dimension calculated field, I can just drag that over top of the bank name in this case. So now I've got um, the sales by the order frequency annually, annual, quarterly, and semi annual, by bank name, and by business type. So by using a combination of a parameter and a calculated field, we were able to dynamically change the dimensions that are showing in this chart. I can also apply a sort here if I want to. I can go to sort and field based on sales amount, apply. So now when I select the dimension, it automatically sorts um, by the sales amount for the selected dimension. But let's say, for example, now we also wanted the the measures to be dynamic. So instead of just sales, I want to have a parameter that allows me to select total product cost, um, discount amount. I want to dynamically be able to switch between these different measures. So that's the next step in this video tutorial. So I'm just going to rename this sheet dynamic um, dimensions. 
just going to clear the sort here that I had set for this item. Clear sort. Now I'm just going to duplicate this worksheet. This will be a starting point to create the dynamic measures and dimensions together. Now I'm going to create a new parameter. I'm going to call this select a measure. And I'm going to make this a string type and a list as well. I'm going to say sales, cost, and discount. All right, say OK. I'm going to add this to or show the parameter control and um, so select the measure. Nothing is happening at this point, there's still more work I have to do. Next step is to create a new calculated field. And I'm going to call this measure selected. If I could type it would be better. Okay, we use a case statement and it will be the select the measure. Let's get rid of some of these spaces when sales then sales amount measure and cost then product costs total product costs uh, we can just say else at this point because uh, either going to be sales or cost or it's going to be a discount amount so I'll just say in this case we'll use what well, I forgot to put, I have to put in the sum here. I'm saying I want it to be the sum of the sales amount. Now let's just use average um, discount amount. Okay, so measure selected, calculated field. When it's sales, then sales amount, cost, then sum of total product cost, or else the average discount amount. Okay, so now I have that, that measure created down here, measure selected. Now in order to get this work, I have to bring my parameter up here, the, my select a measure. And I want to bring the new calculated field, measure selected, instead of the sum of discount amount. So now if I go to change to discount, I'm now seeing a dynamic change between the measures that are being used in this visualization and I can go and change the bank name, sorry, change the dimension. So I, now I have a dynamic representation on this bar chart. I can switch between measures and dimensions, but we want to do some cleanup because I don't want this to say measure selected. Um, don't necessarily need to see this text here either. So those are the next steps. Before we go any further, I also want to implement a top uh, parameter. So let's select um, bank name. So let's say, for example, I, I want to show the top three of whatever selected dimension is, um, or top two, whatever the case may be. So let's go ahead and do that. We'll go and create a new, a new parameter, and we'll call this. Um, Top in, top in dimensions, and we'll make an integer. We'll make the the range between one and and ten, and click OK. So now we'll add. We'll show this parameter control, and then what we'll do is we'll add a filter to. dimension. So then we'll go to the top tab and we'll say by field top 10 and we'll use that parameter we just created top 10 dimensions and say apply and OK. So now we have this control over here I can make this so top 2, top 3 and if I select 
the bank name. I'm just seeing the top three banks. So now we've made this quite dynamic by having dynamic um, dimensions and measures and also adding a top, a top filter as well. So you can see when I switch between the measures here, it is updating this, uh, this label here, and that's good, but we don't need to see we don't need to see this, so hide field labels for columns. And I'm going to edit this axis. I'm just going to get rid of measure selected and apply. So now I'm seeing um, the axis value on top. It still works, but it is dynamic now. And I can just do the same thing here. I'd feel labels for rows, so this is a bit cleaner now. And there's one more thing I can do to make this um, to look pretty sharp. I can go into Worksheet and Show Caption, and I can edit this caption. So that's what I'm going to do. Edit Caption. So I'm going to do. I'm going to make. So by default, Tableau creates a caption based on uh, the dimensions and measures that you've selected, and this is actually quite useful. But I want this to be. Um, Custom. So I'm going to say you are viewing the top, and then I'm going to say insert parameters top and dimensions. The top. So whatever number this is, and then I want to insert whatever the dimension name is, and then say by, and then we'll say. Okay, so let's see what this looks like. You're viewing the top three bank name by discount. Now if I change this to business type, you're viewing the top three business type by discount by sale. So this is dynamic now. I can also format this caption. So let's say I want it to have some shading there. I want to have Order that stands out a little bit. Okay, so I formatted this caption. So now I can add this to a dashboard. Let's have a let's see what that looks like in a dashboard. Okay, so I'm going to go create a new dashboard and bring in sheet two. Actually, let me go ahead and, and rename this to say dynamic. and measures and so if I go over here I bring this into the dashboard and I can say show the caption so now in the dashboard um, this is looking pretty good because it moves the caption right underneath the um, the chart and when I change the the measure selected it's dynamically changing the caption that's showing in in the dashboard so there you go we have a created a little dashboard, some worksheets and a dashboard that show how to create dynamic dimensions and measures in Tableau 10.3. Thank you for watching. And once again, my name is Alan Williams, and if you're interested in watching some more video tutorials on Tableau or on other topics such as SAP business objects, please visit my website, alanwilliams.ca. Thanks.